have like real hot cheetos. Look. Oh. Get it, get it. Get it. Get it. What is it, Bossy? Not gonna lie, I reckon Americans do MX fives really good. What's happening? I, I can't get it! I can't get us! Car, car. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Sick. Sick. It's got roof racks. Let's get one of those. This little wagon is gorgeous. I love it. What's that? What's it? What's it? Bang, bang, boom. Toyota. 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 Mom. Let's try the ice cream. Do you remember going to Moon Eye? Oh, that's a K. Is that a K? Nope. There's a 3RZ. Oh, 3RZ. Yeah, that's two. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, honorable mention for the Merc. Thing's sick. Looks like it's been sitting for ages. Mommy? Do you like it? It's rad. I said as we're coming in, how cool it is. And then back to the G-Banger. It's depressing after seeing all these cool Corollas. Again, I love my kids, but if we didn't have my kids, we'd be buying cool, cooler cars. Wow, they're skitzing at each other. All right, that was tonight's little test for the G35. The car went perfectly. We did like 150 Ks tonight to go out to that 8.6 meet. So I'm pretty confident we're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and drive this car for like 12 or 13 hours straight so fingers crossed guys let's uh head to albuquerque and hang out with uh officer dan all right guys we're on to the next day now dragging this vlog on for two days but we're heading to a cars and coffee this morning so um should be interesting it's meant to be a really big one with just a big diversity of cars so yeah figured i'd go check it out before we head off to Albuquerque, so hope you guys enjoy the footage. Tucky. Yes, sir. We're getting the full experience. Here. We are definitely getting the full experience, even the overflow. So, uh, yeah. Tucky didn't wake me up in the morning. He didn't see the text that said, yeah, I'm keen to come wake me up. So, thanks, Tucky. So, this is why we're walking. <laughs> so, now we've got like a, I don't know, kilometer walk to the event. I need to have a look at this truck, Tucky. You don't know things, but that's sick. Um, yeah, so we need to walk all the way in there, but it looks pretty sick so far. Check this shit out. That truck's already my favorite. <laughs> that's all right. Got cars drive down the side. Yeah, they, don't, they also drive down the middle sometimes. That's how drag racing up. He's driving around the slick slicker? Surely that's illegal. Uh, frowned upon. Alright. <sighs> that's right. And then the guy drives around at 33 with literally no front end. On Texas plates, so I guess it's alright, yeah? Well, it's Texas had different laws for regu regulations. So you don't need to have headlights in Texas? Yeah. What, just turning signals? <laughs> this little BMW club didn't make it in time. This thing's sick. Look at this. Uh -huh. One day, one day I will own one, I'm telling you. We'd literally be thrown in jail for driving that in Australia. Yeah. I'm gonna get Tiana a DeLorean. She loves bringing up the past. I really, really want a pre-runner. Like a proper pre-runner. Like I got my Raptor, but it's like, 
I can only jump it so big. So <laughs> I want a proper one. Alright, there's a couple of starlets for sale. Well, there's a starlet for sale back home at the moment, so it's tempting. So what happens when a Jap guy goes domestic? <laughs> The bumblebee's on steroids over here. This bumbleboy, bumblebee, been too many days in the gym. <laughs> That's booty. That is some wide ass. That's <laughs> like a, a Kardashian style right there. Look how low you are. You've been lowered like all the cars. <laughs> Another pre-runner, proper Raptor pre-runner style. It's got all the wheel stuff in the back. Man, I want one of these so bad. Especially one that's like full pre-runner style. Super wide front end on it. All aftermarket bypass suspension. That's a bit of me. VTEC? VTEC. <laughs> this isn't for VTEC. That's VTEC. That is no tech. That is just, there's no substitute for cubes. Do you have that one? No, no. I'm, not, I'm drawing a blank. There's no replacement for displacement. Yeah. See, the man spoke. Finally. Except to put a big turbo on it as well which is what I like to do. Supercharger works. All right guys, uh, we obviously went to that car show this morning, haven't updated you guys in a little bit, but we packed up the car and we're now on the way to Albuquerque. We've just crossed into... Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, we just crossed into Arizona. Um, those mountains over there are real crazy looking. Um, but yeah, so we're over there and everything seems to be running good. Other than uh, the remap, other than the remap computer, um, when he's done the remap, he's disconnected or turned off my cruise control, so I don't have cruise control, uh, which is the main reason I was keeping the standard wheel on the car. So um, I broke my ankle really badly when I was riding BMX, and these long trips, having to use the throttle, and on top of him turning the cruise control off. We've also got a some sort of throttle sensor issue. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with the actual throttle itself. I think it's something in the ECU. I'm guessing the buttons on the steering wheel um, would uh, probably turning something on and off. And I've gone to use cruise control or something and turn something on or off that shouldn't be on or off. And um, Cause the car to go, it's almost like it's um, got anti-lag or something, it just, you put your foot down, it doesn't really do anything, and then it'll go, so it's a weird um, situation, so yeah. Anyway, we'll keep uh, cruise along to um, Albuquerque, and um, yeah, I'll update you guys when it comes up. This gapping is perfect, out well. As Alright, here we are again folks, we are stranded again, we've lost the pulley, we've lost both belts, we're stuck here near Flagstaff, Arizona, stopped at a McDonald's, looked for the parts, couldn't find them, anyway we had one of George Matsonovic's friends come down, pick us up, thank god, and we are heading to an auto zone which apparently has the parts, it sounds far less hectic me talking about it now, but it has been a fucking nightmare, so 
yeah, we should be back on the road, hopefully. So we're back in the snow. That's wild. Ice and shit everywhere. Like, it's actually really icy and cold. But we're here at an auto zone. So, fuck, let's hope they got the part. Guys, saved by another car guy. Um, not a drift car guy. An off-road guy. Sick off-road Jeep. Um, right, so what we've had go wrong is we've lost our pulley from down there and lost both belts, um, which obviously meant we couldn't drive anymore. So we're going to try and get this sorted ASAP. It is like negative in degrees Celsius. So yeah, I'm going to get stuff done. All right, guys, you, we are fixed. Break, so. We are fixed. Um, can't thank this guy enough. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Anytime. Legendary, legendary. Anytime. Absolutely amazing. Um, we got it working. We don't have AC, but I don't know if you've seen outside, but that's snow. We don't need AC. So we're going to get back on the road now and see how far we get. I was starting to get a little bit tired, but now the heart's, um, the heart's pumping again. So I probably won't be feeling tired again anytime real soon. So maybe we'll make it to Albuquerque tonight. Who knows? All right, guys, we are back on the road. Um, we're just going to try and motor through as far as we can get. I'm going to wrap this vlog up right now that the car is running again. Tiana's about to get the maps back up to find out where we need to go. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So, uh, I'm sure this is plenty entertaining for you guys, but Jesus has been a fucking nightmare. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye. Do you want to feel, feel the viewers in on what you just did? We made it. I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> You tell them. I'm fine. We made it. <laughs> Dick. Oh, Come on, tell we, them. We just rolled into the servo and starter motor. What's new? And why did we roll into the servo and starter motor? Because I tried to do a skid on the ice and been driving on fuel light for an hour. Shibby. I don't know why bad things keep happening. <laughs> <laughs>